Hi everyone, this is Alexander Ansipov and in this video I'm going to show how to create a mobile application with login signup functionality and storing users in Apri database. So first let's create a new application with name login signup db app. Application is ready and everything what is needed to do just to add corresponding Apri IO plugin. So in our case it will be database login and sign up. Let's enable it and import. Then let's change default routing from screen one to login and test. Application is ready, but we got alert notification, which means that uh, we didn't provide database ID for our application. So let's go to database and create new DB with name. Login DB. Let's copy database ID from, from the URL and go to our application. Then open security service folder and security settings settings service and provide our database ID. So let's do it and test again. Now everything is okay and first let's try to log in. As you see, we got error message notification because we don't have any users. So let's create our first user. Go to sign up page. Provide first last name, username, and password, and press sign up. As you see, we were navigated to home screen. And now let's go to our database and open our users collection and what we hear and what we see here that the first user was created with username user at apri.io now let's go to preview and press logout and now let's try to log in with just created new user let's do it okay that's great and now we were able to log in with just created user now let's take a look how this application work we see in security settings folder three database services login logout and sign up and now let's open for example login screen and then go to data tab here we see db login data source which invoke login service but before invoking login service mapping it is performed and here we see that Form data is mapped on body of our service. And in case of successful login, we navigated to home page. So similar logic is on sign up screen. So again, here we invoke sign up service and perform mapping. Okay, but if you remember, we provided first and last name during sign up process but in our database there is only username and password fields let's a little bit update our users collections at first name and last name column and now let's create one more user go to sign up page Let's provide Alex and test, then specify it, for example, user2 at API and press sign up. Now let's go to our database and refresh our users collections. So now we see that first and last name were saved in our database. Okay, but imagine situation that, for example, we want to display some data on home screen and take this data from our database and uh, this data, of course, should be secured. So let's go to our login DB and create new collection with name nodes and add node column and let's make that this collection is secured. So enable security collection checkbox. So 
it means that after that only logged user will be able to perform get, update or delete operation. And now let's create some node. For example, node 1. And let's create node 2. Came back to our application and import this service. Select our database, login DB, then specify collection nodes and operation list for it. Press import. Then we have to specify data source for our home screen. Go to data tab, select login DB node service, add, provide name, nodes, and then perform mapping on success. So uh, since we have an array of nodes, we have to iterate through our array and clone list item component and then let's map node on the text of item label. And then we have to say when this data source should be invoked. It will be invoked on event after page showing, then specify action, invoke service and our node's data source. Now let's let's test. Then let's log in. And we see nothing. In order to understand what happened, let's go to the developer console. So here we see that there is an error, HTTP error response with status 403. And if you remember, we created our nodes collection secured and it means that only authenticated users is able to get data from this collection. And in order to do it, we have to pass session token. So let's go to our application, then go to our login screen and take a look on DB login data source. What is going on after successful login? So here we see that uh, login service return session token and this session token is stored in storage as session token. So let's go to our now home page and add this session token to our nodes service. Press mapping form before send and then map session token from storage on XAPRI session token header. And now let's test. And now let's log in. So now everything works as we expected. We see our list of nodes. That is all what I wanted to show in this video. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments.